Okay. Two of three, done. Setup's a little bit longer right now, you guys. Um, I'll tell you why, hold on. Let me just fix this lighting really quick. Okay, and then I'll bring, you guys, I have three tripods right now. Okay, that looks good. Wait, kick that, move, move. Okay, there you go. That's good, that's good. Okay, now TikTok. <sighs> Hi guys, hold on. I realized, I don't know if I um, am logged into TikTok here, so give me like a quick second, really quick. Um, okay. okay, yes, sweet. Okay. <sighs> Hi guys. Hold on. Give me like two more seconds. <sighs> this is so. I need to show you this setup. Oh. Okay. Wow. Okay, I need to brighten this a bit. Oh. Okay. Just kidding. Ah. Oh. Okay. Hi guys. How are you? Okay, um, I'm literally setting up. So, <laughs> I see three of me right now. Um, I'm on Instagram Live, which is over here. But then I'm also on TikTok Live over here. Hi, Sabrina. And then um, I just added YouTube Live um, because of the whole like Instagram, um, you know, situation the past week. Uh, I decided to start going on YouTube Live. And what's great about YouTube Live, this is kind of like a pro tip if you're trying to get a bag, um, but YouTube Live is connected to my uh, Shop Fashionica website. So it's really cool because you can like watch me on my website, but then you can like go on to the bag drop at 7 p.m., but you can still watch me while you're like checking out, which is super interesting. Um, but I'd love to hear like any feedback after tonight if you are using the YouTube version on my website um because i would be interested to know if that like helped in any way but yeah basically if you don't want to like go on instagram or tiktok um or if you don't have like an account you can always go onto my website now and watch me live on my website which is so cool um okay i'm gonna say hi to people because man the past week has been so stressful um i think i cried a lot especially because i was in hawaii okay i was in hawaii when it happened so i was like trying my best to just not think about it and be present in the moment because it was my anniversary with my fiance but um in the back of my mind i was always thinking about obviously instagram but I'm happy that we got it all resolved and let's get started. I'll do like a little intro for anyone who is new here. Um, hi, I'm Nika. I source vintage designer bags every single Wednesday in my shop, shopfashionika.com. Um, all bags drop at 7 p.m. Pacific time. So um, a way to reach, or like a way to go to my shop is typing in shop fashionika and it's the first thing that pops up. Um, and then just refresh the page at 6.59 p.m. Pacific time. And then that's when you'll see all of the bags so we have around 31 bags that we're gonna be dropping feel free to check out my Instagram or TikTok if you want to see a sneak peek of all the bags that are gonna be dropping and um, oh all the prices are in the caption of my most recent Instagram video and then I also sent out the email sneak peek uh, today if you didn't get the email sneak peek um, if, if, or if you're not like joining my mailing list join it I highly recommend it I don't really send out emails um, I literally send out one email a week because it was by request that it's really helpful for people who are interested in purchasing so like yeah it's it's a no-brainer if you're like wanting to see all the pictures and prices and details beforehand um, okay that said let's get started um, what's like the first request I'm gonna be mindful of time but I always love to know like what uh, the first bag is that people want to um, check out Okay, can you start with the Lime Chanel? Yes, and the mini Prada. Oh my gosh, both really great options. Um, both like colorful bags. One's obviously a little bit more colorful than the other, 
but okay i will show off the chanel first so this one is a chanel oh i need to be mindful that there's also like a horizontal screen over here so Okay, this is gonna be like a learning curve. Um, but this is a Chanel mini pochette. Uh, what's beautiful about her is the contrast stitching. If you look really close, the stitching is actually like a neon yellow, and then it matches the interior as well. The interior is like a bright neon. Um, so if you're kind of on the fence about getting like a colorful bag, I would recommend this one if you're just kind of like leaning into color because it's still like a classic black bag, but you got the contrast colors. So there's your pop of color. Um, she has silver hardware and then she has a silver Chanel logo and then black lambskin, super soft. And the great thing about this is this does fit on your shoulder. Um, tested it out for you in case there are people that love that like little mini shoulder bag. So this is what it looks like on. And then I'm gonna show up close so yeah it's like a silver it's actually like a silver gun medley color and then um i promise i'll go like from instagram and tiktok and then youtube so okay and then there you go and there you go in terms of condition she is so soft like literally buttery soft i love when leathers are like that buttery soft feel because it feels even more like luxurious uh this is the back of the bag and then let me show you guys the interior. Um, and then I wonder if I can actually see comments on YouTube. Maybe no one's commenting. I can't tell or not, but... Um, okay, was there a preview? Yes, I sent out um, an email preview like an hour ago. So check out your spam and promotions folder in case you don't see it. Um, by the way, this one does come with the card. And then like how vibrant is this? Definitely that beautiful like pop of color. Um, and then the price for this one. So this is called the Chanel mini pochette. Um, I believe on my website, it's gonna be called the Chanel mini stitch pochette. And I have it listed for $13.99. And then um, I see a question, how do you buy? So it'll be available on my website, shopfashionga.com. Um, okay. Oh, at 7 p.m. Pacific time. Um, one second. I forgot. I need to add a moderator really quickly. So one moment. Hopefully we don't get like any crazy people. Um, this backdrop. Uh, oh no. Is she not online? Okay. Okay. I don't know if that worked okay um okay cool next um let me see haven't been in your bag drops before well thank you for hanging out with us tonight um we just started and this was the first bag i shared so we can move on i remember the second uh request was that beautiful prada bag let me grab that for you because that one okay so I am obsessed with this bag. Um, someone commented the color and okay, is this not giving like Hermes orange? Like, I think I'm in like a crazy Hermes, like, I don't know, like I'm going crazy over Hermes recently. Um, and I definitely think that this is like giving Hermes orange. I showed this to my fiance though, and he's like, oh, it could be Nike orange too. So anyways, it's Prada, it's neither of them, okay? Um, so we have a beautiful little Prada mini Valletto. I believe that's how it's pronounced um, in Saffiano leather. So nice and durable, has the gorgeous gold hardware as well. Um, truly the perfect pop of color with like an all white outfit or you can even like spice it up for Halloween and wear like a black outfit and this cute little orange bag. Um, but obviously this also looks so good in the summertime as well. Uh, pretty versatile as well because it has the top handle. So you could wear her like this, holding it like this. I'm gonna see if it can fit on a wrist. Okay, it can't fit on a wrist unless you have like the tiniest hand ever, or unless you're like, you know, a little, a mom that wants to gift this to her, her daughter or son, then yes, this can fit your child. But on a regular standard wrist, it will not fit, um, but you can always just hold it and then you can use this uh, chain strap as well. So I'm gonna try on the chain so you can see what this looks like as a crossbody. 
Um, oh my gosh, I just realized I'm too short for YouTube to see me wearing this as a crossbody. Okay, okay, that helped. Cool, now everyone can see. Um, so this is what she looks like for reference. I'm five feet. And then you could always take this chain strap off if you wanted to, and then just have her as like a cute little mini bag, holding her like that. Um, let me show you guys up close. So again, beautiful, beautiful gold hardware. Has the little feet so she does sit upright. You have a little um, clochette and lock. So basically this uh, little, these little keys are for this lock right here that says Prada. I did recommend that like whoever ends up getting this, you could take the lock off and then when you're not using the bag for the day, if you wanted to, you can get like a really cool chunky gold chain and then put this lock on the chain and then wear it as like a really cool necklace because it says Prada on it. Um, okay, and then how this works, basically you could lock this zipper for that extra security, but I feel like that would be annoying. So if I had this, I would just, you know, wear it like, like so. Um, and then this is this side. This is the back of the bag. In terms of where she has a little mark right over here. Oh my gosh, it's so subtle, but I'm gonna show you up close. Little mark right there. Oh, I forget that my... My, I just got a new phone and the quality of the phone is a little too good that like you can see like probably all my flaws, but whatever. Um, good job iPhone for the amazing quality for this new phone. Okay, showed you that. Um, let me see. No other like visible wear. Let me open the bag though, just to see how the interior looks. Oh, I forgot to mention. So I actually took this off, but um, this goes on the lock, but I thought it was cute without it, but obviously I'm gonna include this as well. Um, can this fit an iPhone? Let me see. I don't believe it can fit the Max. Actually, no, I have the iPhone 14 Pro and hmm, I'm like measuring it. I'm gonna say no. Like if you have a smaller phone other than the iPhone 14 Pro, then you might get away with it. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna say, no, it does not fit iPhone 14 or above. Um, but okay, this is the interior. Beautiful, beautiful orange still. And then it has the um, cards as well. Um, okay, price for this one. I have this one priced at the Prada Safiano, $849. For anyone who's interested, $849. Where can we see all the bags and prices? So um, if you go onto my Instagram, you can see the prices on my most recent video. But uh, since you're on TikTok, you can also see a sneak peek of all the bags in my most recent video on TikTok. Okay, um, next, what should we do? Chanel belt bag. Oh, that one's coming from my own collection. Okay, I love this one, but I'm making room for another bag. Um, I haven't done like an unboxing, but I have been getting um, a couple of bags that I have kept. So just know that there's gonna be a lot of content very, very soon. But um, I have this beautiful little Chanel patent turn lock. What other platform is she showing this on? Um, sorry, so I just wanted to answer that. So I'm on TikTok, Instagram, and then on my website, if you wanna just like do everything all in one place, you can go on to shopfashioneco.com and watch me there, and then all the bags are gonna pop up at 7 p.m. Pacific time. Um, okay, so beautiful Chanel patent turn lock belt bag. Um, I actually added this chain. So note that this is a generic chain. Um, I love doing this to like the small leather goods because it really like elevates a bag and it also adds more versatility. So I'll show you what I mean, but let me show you really quickly up close. So she's made of the 24 karat gold plating. Um, and then she is a turn lock made of patent leather. Please note that she is considered fair condition because she does have some mats going on right over here at the bottom. Um, you notice how like it's patent over here, like more of a shiny. This is just more of a, a matte fit finish. Um, and then some over here on this edge, right over here, like probably like that area. And then on the um, leather straps right over here, it's more matted. This one I feel like you can tell on the back. 
but um, obviously from far away, it just looks like it's a black bag. Um, let me try it on for you. So I loved using using this when I was like on the go, um, like to get coffee, like literally just throwing it over my chest. And this was the way I wore it the most. Um, hold on. So basically what you do is you just pull this guy and then I would loop this to, just to like shorten it a little bit, the little strap. But I just thought this was so cute, like over the chest. Um, I don't know, it's like, it's just so chic to me. Um, I think it'd be so cute with like just a sweatshirt, like, you know, very casual. Don't like dress this up wearing it like this. You could though if you wanted to like take the chain off and use it as a clutch. So that's like, this is the first way you can wear it. Obviously take the chain off and then use it as a clutch if you're gonna use it for the evening or going to a wedding. And then, um, let me see, hold on. You can also do a longer shoulder bag, literally just by, wearing her like adjusting the chain and then this is what she looks like at the longest length so she's a crossbody as well how many ways has that been like four um oh oh my gosh i didn't even show you like the main way so this is the main way like play around with the belt but so freaking cute and i love it with like a blazer too i really like wearing belt black belt belt bags, belt bags with blazers, but I think that's super cute. And then, okay, how many ways was that already? Like 10? Dramatic, but you know, felt like it. And then you can also use it as a shorter shoulder bag by just like making it like this. And then you could be really dramatic with the chain and wear it like so if you wanted to. So we love this, we love the versatility. I recommend this for someone who, you know, doesn't really care too much about the wear and just really wants their first like Chanel starter bag because this is a bag that is gonna be your most versatile bag that you own. Um, and then the price, I have this one listed for Chanel Patent Turnlock Belt Bag, uh, $12.99, $12.99. Such a good deal for a freaking Chanel bag. Um, okay. Let me see the Bottega toe. Yes, I can show you that one next. Um, and then my shipping times. So it typically takes between three to five days. We ship out every weekend. So if you order today, then we'll start the shipment on Saturday or Sunday, and then it goes out Monday and Tuesdays. Um, okay, let me get you the Bottega. So vintage Bottega, um, but kind of giving me like that modern style. I guess the style is so classic anyway, so it could look vintage and modern at the same time, but it's a vintage Bottega shoulder bag with the popular Intrecciato woven leather. Um, something I love about Bottega is that their leather just feels so much softer than others. Like, I can't even tell you how like soft this feels. I obviously don't wanna like, hug it but it's just so soft uh really great size let me show you what this looks like on as like a little shoulder bag so super cute good everyday bag um by the way this is black and then it has this really nice um top handle with again the woven as well and then <laughs> no unfortunately it's not 12 dollars and 99 cents um the chanel is 12 nights Oh, sorry, 1,299. <laughs> um, okay, and then interior, look at this. So spacious. Like you have a zipper back here, but then you also have your first compartment, your second compartment, and then you have a zipper compartment as well. So you could put like your wallet in here, you could put your agenda in here, and then you could put your little snacks in the side um, and just carry it along for the day. The, okay, so something I do wanna note, I feel like a magnet, at least I think I feel a magnet um, on one side, but like I don't really understand because there's no like other magnet on the other side, if that makes sense. So I don't know if it's like meant to go like that, but I got it because I thought it was super cute open like this. Let me show you one more time. And then in terms of wear, by the way, she's in beautiful vintage condition, just some signs of rubbing right here on the corner corner, corner, and then bottom still looks good. 
yeah, literally just that one corner. Um, and yeah, she's a really great price too. But I priced this at $4.49. $4.49, you know how Bottega's like in the thousands these days. So for anyone who's interested, beautiful everyday bag. And this is like an if you know, you know bag. Um, okay, pink Chanel, yes. I love this freaking style. If you follow me, you already know, like, I love this style. This is the Chanel Timeless um, Caviar Pochette. I feel like this is just such a great price point for a Chanel bag. Um, and on top of that, it's caviar. I love the love the caviar leather. Um, and I do also just love that it's pink because I don't typically find pink Chanel's. Um, and then she has gold hardware. She has a durable caviar, like thick strap at the top too. So it's gonna be nice and comfortable when you wear her. This is what she looks like on. I feel like, oh, I think I posted this, but I feel like for anyone who gets like a colorful Chanel, like I already can tell you have like an incredible collection because I don't know, I feel like it's very common to have like your black bags and your cream bags. I'm guilty of it. I have like a crap ton of black and cream, but I always get excited when someone orders a colorful one because I kind of want to like know what other bags they have in their closet. Um, okay, so beautiful caviar. This is the back of the bag. In terms of wear, she does have some darkening right over here. Nothing too crazy. Oh, I can get really close on my iPhone. Okay, right over here. Thank goodness I got my nails done yesterday. Um, okay, right over here, and then right over here, and then on this side, basically like on the um, strap edges, there's some wear right here. More Chanel, yes, oh my gosh. <laughs> You're on the right channel. Um, I am a Chanel girly, so I love sourcing Chanel. Okay, um, yeah, this is what she looks like. Uh, let me show you guys the interior really quick, but uh, the price for this one, Chanel Timeless Caviar. Where'd she go? Chanel Timeless. Why do I have the price on here? I think it was like $22.99. Yes, yeah, $22.99 for this guy. $22.99 um, and then where you can find pricing you can just go onto my Instagram and like the very first video I posted um, today is the one that has like all the pricing on there for you and then that's the interior interior does have wear so let me show you up close up close and I feel like I priced this lower than I typically would for this bag. Um, I've sold this for around like 3000 So I did make sure to obviously price it accordingly based on like the wear inside and then like the little marks on the edges. Okay, sweet. Um, okay, any Fendi? Oh my God, yes! Wait, I'm gonna show you my favorite Fendi right now. Okay, so. I just want to preface this with this exact bag is not available anywhere online. So whoever or who, if anyone is interested in this, congratulations, because this is such a gorgeous freaking bag. So we have a Fendi wool baguette bag. Um, obviously, the wool is already like making her a really special Fendi, a little bit more rare than what you would typically find. But the fact, the fact that she has, okay, I'm not even gonna go with the obvious. We'll start with this, the less obvious. She has lizard trimming. Um, so this would be considered like a more exotic vintage bag because of the lizard trimming. Um, I'm all about like the exotic leathers. I understand that exotic is a little bit higher in price point, um, not specifically for like this one. I priced it really, really well, but just in general, I noticed like exotic bags are pretty up there. Um, but look at this, okay? Like, I hope I'm not the only one freaking out about this because I'm like fangirling over this lizard. Um, and then you got the lizard here. But okay, now I'll show you like the most obvious. She's got crystal freaking baguettes, not only on the logo, but also on the buckles. Are you kidding me? Like, I, okay, crystal baguettes.
baguettes, but it's called the Fendi baguette. It's just a whole vibe. Like I love what they did with this bag. Um, and then the interior is gorgeous as well. It's like a beautiful leather. So I'll open it up for you, but hold on. Let me show you up close really quick. So look at that. I'm going to show you the edges. Okay. Let's show TikTok. Yes, I do have a Celine bag. I'll show that one next. Um, and then that's YouTube, um, adjustable strap. So this is what she looks like on. And then, okay. I'm just gonna say, I feel like I might have underpriced this, but we're just gonna go with it, like whatever. Um, I priced this at, oh, what was it? Uh, not Chanel, Fendi, well, okay, I priced it at $12.99. Um, I honestly do think I should have priced it just a little bit more, but no worries at all. Such a good deal. Um, let me show you the back, and then let me show you guys the interior. So the interior is made of like a soft, supple leather. So it's got like the gray, but then it's also had, it also has like a nude interior as well. And then a zip pocket interior is nice and clean. Um, you could put a lot in here. Like this is the classic Carrie Bradshaw bag. You could put your phone, your keys, your long wallet, and then you could put some makeup in here if you wanted to. Um, okay, yeah. So. $12.99 for anyone who's interested in this one. And then I got you on the Celine. I saw that request. Okay. I'm having a moment with Celine, you guys. You're going to start seeing more Celine. Obviously, it takes time to source um, bags in general. So, but you'll see it like slowly starting to trickle in. Uh, so this is a Celine Triumph vintage tote. For some reason, this bag is giving like the Chloe Woody. Like, does that not, it, I feel like it's like a very similar style um, and obviously shape and size as well. But this is the Celine, um, the beautiful Triumph logo um, in a beautiful navy with like navy, dark navy trimming leather and then a chocolate brown leather straps so this is what she looks like on really good bag for kind of like going out for the day i wouldn't say this is like a nighttime bag in any way but this is like a good bag to throw all of your stuff in because she's really spacious so let me show you guys up close what this bag looks like and then i'll open it up so you can see the interior by the way this is so random but i'm like so happy to be back i really missed you guys last week and i'm just happy to be here Okay, um, this is the back, bottom. And then would this fit a laptop? No, um, it would probably fit an iPad, but I definitely would say this does not fit a laptop unless you have like the miniest laptop ever. <laughs> okay, and look at that. Like super spacious. I think you could put like an actual, like normal size bag of chips in here. That's how wide it is. Okay, and then let me show you again, the interior, interior. And then I have this one priced at 549, 549. Can I wear this as a, mm, I probably wouldn't wear this as like a shoulder bag, unless I'm not wearing like a chunky blazer, then you might get away with it. Uh, in terms of wear, she's in good vintage condition. She has some darkening right over here on the top of the tote. But other than that, she's looking cute and ready to mingle. Okay, um, next bag. Uh, let me see. Um, what did you miss so far? So I can do an overview at the end of my live at around 6.50. I'll like show all the bags all at once. Um, and then you could obviously go on my Instagram if you want to see like all the bags that we're dropping today. Okay. Um, let me see. I'm trying to see if I'm missing any questions. Yes. Okay. Mariposa. I see LV shoulder bag. Where is she? Okay. This was not specifically this one, but this style was think like my very first designer bag like so long ago probably even like 
pre-college, no, during college. Wait, no, second, okay, sorry. Um, the first one was the Prada that I got in high school, but this one was the second one. It was a vintage, it was still a vintage one back then too, even though that was like so long ago. But um, I got it gifted um, by like a brand. This was when like there were, weren't too many like influencers and I had like somewhat of like a larger following. Um, and so they gifted me this and we did like a whole photo shoot in LA again so freaking long ago but it was just cool to like get a free Louis Vuitton um but yeah I ended up selling that bag um but I kind of regret it because it was like a really special like that specific one just felt like oh um maybe like I could make something of my Instagram because I'm getting like a free Louis Vuitton bag um okay so Going back to the bag, a beautiful little shoulder bag. The Vachetta still looks really good. Like obviously there's like a couple water spots, but still you could tell like this is nice and light compared to like other vintage Louis Vuittons that you'll see on the market. Um, this is the bottom of the bag. And then I would recommend this for someone who really loves the Louis Vuitton pochette but it's like too small for them. They like to put a lot of stuff in their bag uh, because this is kind of like the sister to the pochette. It's a little bit bigger. You could put a little bit more. You could put your like continental wallet, your lipsticks, your makeup, your phone, your iPhone Max. Um, yeah, you can put a good amount inside of this bag and really good like everyday bag. Let me show you on the front, the back. And then let me show you the interior of this guy. Interior, it's a beautiful like mustard color. Um, oh no, I see, a, okay, wait, I see a comment. Okay, hold on. <laughs> um, oh, um, moderator, are you on? Uh, this is in reference to Instagram. Hey, moderator. Okay, I'm just gonna assume that they are on. Um, or unless she's watching her K-drama. I don't know. <laughs> um, okay, well, we're gonna keep going. But if uh, I see any comments... Okay, hold on. Let me scroll really quick. Um, okay. Cool. Okay, I just removed one, um, but if there's anyone else, just let me know, you guys. Okay. Um, cool. So, I think I'm done showing this bag. Uh-oh. Did I just pause on here? Hello? You can see me? Okay. I think you can see me. Okay. Um, cool. So, Louis Vuitton shoulder bag and I have her priced at 809 for anyone who's interested it'll be dropping in 45 minutes on shopfashionika.com awesome okay next bag uh let me see what did they say mini pochette um are you talking about the Louis Vuitton pochette I'm gonna guess because I don't think I have any other pochettes. I had the Chanel mini pochette, but we talked about that already. But if you missed it, I'll go over it um, uh, at 6.50 p.m. <gasps> no, what? Sorry, guys. No audio on TikTok. Interesting. But you were able to hear me earlier, too? How did I do that, then? Okay, give me a second. <laughs> now TikTok's having issues. Um, okay, did that work? You can hear now? Sweet, okay, oh, that was easy then. Easy solve, I love it when that happens. Um, okay, so um, next bag I have is the Louis Vuitton pochette. This isn't technically like the mini pochette. I would say this is like the mini the medium of the pochettes, if that even makes sense. If you are familiar with like the whole Louis Vuitton pochette collection, then this will make sense to you. So I think I'm speaking to a very specific crowd, but the mini pochette is probably like half of this, maybe like a little bit bigger. So this is what the mini pochette is, like from here to here, and then this size, 
And then you have the larger Louis Vuitton pochette that, you know, is the classic one that you see quite often. And then if you want to throw in that shoulder bag, then that would be the next size. Um, but this one is not a popular size. This is actually a pretty rare one because this does not have a Vachetta strap. This has a chain strap. And this specific style actually came with the large Noé bucket bag. Kind of fun fact, Louis Vuitton used to sell their bucket bags and add like an added um, Louis Vuitton pouch inside of their bags. And a lot of people will take them out and use this as like a little evening bag. So this is the bag I am now talking about. Um, beautiful Louis Vuitton. Uh, something to note, the since it was attached to the bucket bag, typically how they would like reattach the chain is they would put the chain onto the zipper like so. So I'll show you up close what I mean. And then to open it, you open it like this. And then this is the interior. So really good like starter Louis Vuitton bag. Um, you could use this um, for like a little pouch if you wanted to throw it in your Neverfull, or you could get away with using this as like a little pochette because you could put your phone in here and you could put your card holder and you could put your keys. Those are like the three important things. And then use this for like a little clutch or you could use it as um, a little bag for a cocktail dress for a wedding. Um, you can really play around with this guy. She's in good vintage condition. Um, um, even the Vachetta, even though it's like so little, still looks great. Yellow gold still looks great as well. And I have this one priced at um, $6.19. $6.19 for anyone who is interested. Um, how much is this going for? Oh, perfect. $6.19. Okay, cool. Let me see. Are we doing okay? Did I do the YSL? Okay, I can do that one next. Yeah, I'll do that one next because I haven't done St. Laurent. Actually, this is the only St. Laurent I have tonight. So, and this one comes with a box. So we're going to do like a fun unboxing right now as well. So, do, 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 comes with the box. Comes with a dust bag. I actually added this dust bag. So it's like a little bit larger. But if it came with a box, I also wanted it to just come with a dust bag as well for that, you know, experience. Um, comes with the cards. And then I have never sold this um, size before. And I think it's so stinking cute. For someone who is petite like me, this is a really great everyday bag. Um, okay. Hi, hello. So this is a, um, I was gonna say Louis Vuitton, oh my gosh. Saint Laurent um, Toy Lulu. So she is like the smallest of the Lulu collection. She is a beautiful black leather, calf skin, 100% calf skin. And then she has the matte black logo. So if you look up close, you can see the beautiful shining logo. And then what's cool about this is it has a removable strap. So you could take the strap off and then use this as a clutch if you wanted to like this, or what I think would be super cute as well is if you take the strap, buy like a gold or a silver chain from Amazon, and then you just have so many options after that. You can get a long chain to wear as like a short shoulder bag. You can get a long, uh, longer chain and then use it as a crossbody. Um, we just love the versatility. So that's what she looks like on the body of a five foot human. And then let me show you up close. So, so gorgeous. Really, really good condition, by the way. I think I put this as um, either great condition or excellent condition because no signs of wear. And then let me show you the interior of this one. So interior, more cards, and then interior. You can even see that it still has like the little paper slot thing for the wallet um and it smells brand new too the price for this one by the way so uh these typically go for it they still sell this um it's 1900 on saint laurent right now but if you want you know a little bit of a discount i have it priced at 14.99 so for anyone who's interested 14.99 for this cutie uh really versatile i highly recommend if you do oh it has a plastic on it still forgot to mention that so you could have that like little plastic unboxing 
But again, if whoever ends up getting this, highly recommend just getting like multiple chains because like this will be like the bag you use so often because you have that versatility now. Um, okay. I did the Chanel patent turn lock. I'm so sorry, but I will do that um, at the end for you so you can check it out. And I did also do the Bottega. Sorry, guys. Um, another Chanel. Okay, you got it. We do have a lot of Chanel flaps tonight, so I, oh, I don't even know which one to pick. Okay, I'm just gonna go for this one, because um, this is like a pretty popular style. So this is a Chanel medium turn lock full flap. Size is medium, um, 24 karat gold plating since she is vintage, has the turn lock logo. Um, really versatile bag as well. So you could wear her like this, um, and then you can also like just pull the chain and then you don't like like it hanging like this then you can that's what she looks like um u.s yes i'm located in um california so this is actually open to the u.s um okay this is black this is this side this side and then this side let me examine the wear really quick mm, drying right here not rubbing but like drying on, oh, I can sh I can really show you. Oh my gosh. The quality of the iPhone, guys. I'm just, it's ridiculously good. Um, that's that side. Um, yes, all bags are guaranteed authentic. They come with the Entropy Certificate of Authenticity. I use them because they have a money back guarantee. They're amazing. Um, I, I definitely like look up because I feel like they're probably like, the most reputable out there um, in terms of like authenticating. They've been around forever. So check them out if you're interested in learning a little bit more. Uh, let me show you how else I would wear her. So I would, this is my favorite way of wearing a Chanel. I know it's not like the most conventional, but I just think it's so chic. Really into like the top handle bags at the moment. So just bear with me while I have this moment. Um, okay, other ways you could wear her. So you could pull the chain and then use her as a double chain strap if you wanted to. Like that. And then obviously like even out the straps, but you get the picture, like that's what she looks like as a double chain, like this. And then um, let me show you guys the interior of this bag. How much is this one? The price for this one, I have it priced at let me see really quick. Chanel Turnlock Medium Full Flap, $36.99. $36.99 for this cutie. And this is the medium size, the beautiful burgundy interior. Interior is clean, but let me get even closer so you guys can check it out. Oh yes, that's a good idea. Okay, I will show that, um, show it worn as a crossbody. I forgot you could wear it as a crossbody as well. So you have three pockets. You got two open ones and then a zip pocket at the back. Okay. By the way, are, YouTube, are you doing okay? Um, I don't know like how to see if there's any comments or you know if people are uh, watching. Oh hi Jorge! Oh hi Pauline! Oh oh my gosh, I haven't seen you guys in so long. Thanks for tuning in. And they are on um, YouTube right now. Well, Shop Fashionica, I'm guessing, but then YouTube. Okay, and then this is what she looks like as a crossbody. Um, so yeah, you've got a bunch of different ways you could wear this bag. And then, let me see, Bottega bag. We did the Bottega already, but um, I can show it again at the end. I'm so sorry. Okay. Um, okay, any questions with this guy? Um, she's lambskin, by the way. I don't know if you, I mentioned the leather. She's nice and soft because I just conditioned her. The yellow gold is still so yellow gold. If you can see that up close, like so vibrant. Um, okay, cool. Um, Dior. Oh my gosh, yes. I'm gonna do the. I'm gonna guess it's the barrel bag because I'm very excited about this cute little miniature little papillon bag so up next 
cutie little uh, Dior barrel. It's a coated canvas too, which is really great because it's gonna be nice and durable and easy to clean too. So if you accidentally get a stain on this, like you could just wipe it off, like, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, okay, I'm not sure what's going on here, so. Uh. Okay, sorry guys, I just, I'm like, just catching up on the weird things I'm seeing on Instagram. So please bear with me. I'm not sure where my moderator is at the moment. Um, okay, so she's coated canvas. Like I said, it's just gonna be easy to clean. I love this cute little heart lock detail. So freaking special. If you look up close, it actually says Dior on the heart lock as well. Um, oh my God, you could totally see that. I think I'm like always just gonna be impressed with this iPhone quality because I'm not used to this. Um, okay, this is this side. This is this side, silver hardware. Um, I don't know, do you, would you also call this Vachetta even though it's not like Louis Vuitton? Is that a dumb question? Like, I'm just gonna guess yes because it is like the same uh, material. And then this is what she looks like on. I would wear this with like a really cute trench coat. Um, I'm thinking like fall winter fits by the way now, even though I was already thinking that back in the summer because I love to layer, but okay. Trench coat, some cute boots, like a little black interior and then throw this guy on. Um, I would say this is like a statement bag because it has the cute little heart detail, definitely a conversation piece. Um, obviously like a vintage Dior collector would recognize this bag. Uh, let me show you guys the interior. Yes, I'm going to be dropping all of these at 7 p.m. Pacific time. So on shopbashnika.com, if you just go on there, um, they'll start to pop up at 7 p.m. Okay, that's the interior. Interior looks great. And then the price of this one, I have it priced at um, $7.99. $7.99. Okay, I'm like trying to keep an eye on like Instagram going wild right now. Uh, okay, can we do the Chanel lambskin quilt? Yes, oh my God, I love that one. Okay, so next bag I have. This is like, I call this the sister to the classic flap because it's obviously very much giving classic flap Chanel vibes, um, but obviously with a twist, cause you see like it has like this um, lambskin like framing and then it has the classic lambskin quilting and then you have the Chanel gold, 24 karat gold plated um, turn lock logo as well, the Chanel, um, 24 karat gold chains. So this is what she looks like. I would say this is comparable to maybe a small, maybe a little bit bigger than a small classic flap because it looks slightly bigger. And then this is what she looks like on like this. I mean, this is just a no brainer. Like I, I, if you're investing in a Chanel flat bag, please go vintage. Like that is like, the biggest advice, the best advice I could ever give you is go vintage. Do not get it in store. Um, I don't know, just the quality is so much better vintage. They still have like the 24 karat gold. Um, I just hear a lot of like stories about how people have purchased bags in store in Chanel and they just don't hold up as well as like the vintage ones. So that is my, my advice to you for anyone who is in the market. Okay, so that's what she looks like. And then the great thing about this is you could play around with this strap, wear her as a longer shoulder bag if you wanted to. And then I think you could wear this as a crossbody. Okay, yes, I would wear this as a crossbody. If you are short, like around five feet, maybe five, three, five, four, you could get away with it still. You could wear this as a crossbody. And then is this a double flap or a single flap? This is a single flap. So I'll open up the bag, by the way. Oh, by the way, color, I know it looks black. I literally have like have been racking my mind, like trying to figure out if this is black or dark brown. Um, I'm gonna show you guys up close because to me, it looks like a freaking dark, dark brown. And I had to like update the listing probably like an hour ago because I just still couldn't decide. But I'm just gonna go with dark, dark brown because when I compared it to like my black, 
it's so subtle but like i can see the color difference very slightly Hold on, i'll show you up close you know what i mean i hope you guys can even tell but like to me i voted that this is a dark dark brown um okay this is that side this is that side in terms of where she has a little bit of rubbing right over here on the bottom corner um maybe not really there I'm just gonna show you up close so you can see like not like super rubbing but like small signs of it so like this part right over here probably like like right there um okay yeah overall though still super soft um i conditioned this one as well so you know she's ready for her next home um the back has a pocket by the way so you could put your phone in here if you wanted to um just for like quick access access um and then this is the interior hold on let me throw all this away okay interior so you know what i mean single flap um so it's gonna be lighter to carry. And then that's the interior, nice and spacious. You know, throw all of your everyday things in here. Um, okay, awesome. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, the price. Um, I have this one priced at $44.99. Um, in this condition, they typically go for over five grand, well over five grand. Um, definitely do research and you know how much they go for in store. Obviously they don't sell this exact style in store, but the classic flap they are still selling. And I think it's like getting really close to 10 grand right now, um, which is so crazy, but whatever, it's okay. <laughs> we'll deal with Chanel. Um, okay, so one more time. That's what she looks like on. And then, yeah, I don't know if there's any other questions. Um, year, so this one obviously is pre-2008 since she has a 24 karat gold. Um, it's the three series, so early 90s. If I was to uh, put an actual year on it, probably between 91 to 94 um, would be the year for this. But you can obviously look up three series and see the exact year if you're interested. Um, okay. Next bag, yes, I'm sorry, I haven't paid any attention to Gucci. So I'm going to show you the cutie Gucci Jackie. Um, so this is like, it's considered a Gucci Jackie, but I call it like the Gucci Jackie flat bag. Um, monogram, pochette, got adjustable strap, uh, this dark gunmetal like silver hardware. And then I feel like this is a good competitor of like the Louis Vuitton pochette because it's like the same size around there. So if you're kind of toying with like, oh, if you should get the um, Louis Vuitton shoulder bag or the pochette, and then you're trying to figure out if you also want this. I mean, you can't go wrong with either of them. Um, this one is like a, a coated, not coated, um, a canvas material with like the monogram all over and it has um, brown, dark brown leather uh, piping. And then let me show you the interior. How do I, Okay. Um, so all of the bags are going to be dropping in 25 minutes on shopfashionika.com. So if you go onto my website right now, you can actually watch the live on there so that you can like just refresh and then all the bags are going to pop up at exactly 7 p.m. Pacific time. Um, okay, so that's the interior. That's the interior. And then in terms of where she has, um, is it this? Okay, I think so. It's super subtle, but she does have a little mark right over here in this area, if you can see. Um, and I have this one priced at Gucci Jackie flat bag. I have it priced at $639. $639, she'll go with everything, wear it with like a white button up and some cute high waist denim and call it a day. Okay, um, next bag. I think I saw someone ask for the caviar wallet, so. I haven't had this in a minute. Um, and I used to sell this quite often, but I don't know, I haven't found one recently, so I'm very excited. We have a Chanel Timeless Caviar wallet on chain. Obviously, like I added this chain, so it's a generic chain, but obviously gives like the Chanel-esque vibes, so you could wear her like different ways. But um, cute little caviar wallet. 
up close. You could take the chain off and then use her as a wallet um, inside of like a Chanel bag. But let me show you the ways you could wear her first. So first you could wear her as a cute little crossbody bag like this. And then you could shorten the chain and then use her as a cutie little um, shorter shoulder bag like that. And then, um, I forgot about the belt. Oh my gosh. You could wear her as a belt as well. I don't think I've ever worn this um, bag as a belt. I actually think I used to sell this, not with this chain, but um, a different chain that wasn't adjustable. But I kind of like this chain better at the moment. But okay, that's what she looks like as a little belt bag. We love the versatility, right? Um, okay, and then I have this one priced at, let me see, Chanel Caviar Wallet on Chain, $4.59, $4.59, and then let me show you guys the interior of this guy. So this is how it, like, you could literally just take this off and use it as a wallet. Um, let me show you. So up close, you have a bunch of, a bunch of slots. You have a little coin compartment here as well like that. And then you have a cash compartment on this side. So lots of storage. So if you are the type that like stores all of your gift cards, doesn't use them, but just carries it everywhere. This is the perfect little wallet for you. Um, okay, cool. And no, the chain is a generic chain. This chain is not Chanel to confirm. So this is Chanel. The chain is just generic. Uh, okay. 22 minutes. I'm going to go a little faster. Um, so I think I'm talking too much, but I realize I haven't been going to Louis too often. So I hope that there are like male watchers um, that are looking for a bag because I'm trying to find bags that can easily be like a unisex bag. Obviously this is a really sick briefcase. Like any girl could use this um, girl boss moment, but if you are a male, I do have one unisex bag today, but I mean, you can make all of them unisex either way, but this is like a more obvious unisex one. Um, I can't really show you YouTube what this looks like unless I like jump, but okay. This can fit your whole life. Um, that's dramatic, but it can fit your laptop for sure. It could fit your card holder, your huge wallet. You could put probably like some snacks in here too, because I feel like the depth is, it's pretty wide. Uh, up close, so it's the Damier Eben, and then it has beautiful, soft calf skin, um, and then a little top handle for you to hold. It would be cool if you added like a little gold chain, hooked it onto here, and then you could use it as like a longer strap bag if you wanted to. To open it, you just lift that up, and then it opens, and then let me show you the interior interior like I said very spacious you can put your um oh, oh I don't know how I'm gonna show you this but you can put um a like portfolio in this like huge pocket in the back and then you have like your laptop and then you could put your agenda a matching Louis Vuitton agenda would be so freaking cute with this um but yeah for anyone who's interested Louis Vuitton how much do I have this for uh, Damier Eben briefcase and I have it for $6.99. $6.99 for anyone who's interested. I know it's Christmas coming up. So for anyone who wants to get this for like a boyfriend or significant other, super cute if you do. Uh, okay. Oh, wait, I didn't show this part. You could also put your phone and stuff back here for easy access. It's a back compartment. Okay. Um, I'm going to go a little faster. I think I'm talking too much. Ugh. Okay, next bag I have, if you wanna be twins with me, I have this exact bag. I love her. If you know, if you follow me, you know how much I love her. I use her so often, um, at minimum once a week. I wear her when I go um, to a coffee shop and I work at the um, shops there. It's great because it's really, really spacious. Lots of compartments and it's like a two-in-one bag because it's double-sided. So this is the first side. It's a Chanel logo turn lock with a pocket. And then this is the other side. You have the Timeless logo. So literally, it's like you're getting two bags for the price of one. 
Let me show you up close. So she's made with 24 karat gold plating hardware. Um, up close, it's still very much yellow gold, very minimal signs of discoloring though on the chain. And I will show you what I mean. So still very much yellow gold though. And then turn lock, turn lock this side. I'm not really sure why um, this has happened. It's the basically whoever owned this last, it was their way of handling it, but very slight lifting underneath this, um, this one. It doesn't affect the integrity of the actual like logo. Like it's not gonna come off at all, but just wanna know it's like so slight. And it's something that I like barely noticed, but when we were shooting it, I was like, oh, interesting. So um, up close, you can see. And then let me show you one more time. Um, oh, this is the part where I start like rushing because now it's get we're getting close to the time. So uh, that's the interior. It's got two big pockets in here, and then you still have this pocket, and then you still have this pocket. So I'll put like my phone and my card holders and keys in like the front pockets of these bags, and then just like store everything else inside. It fits like your laptop, it fits your water, bo water bottle, so it's a pretty handy bag. And she's caviar, so she's gonna be nice and durable as well. Um, it's just a no-brainer for this bag. I always recommend um, at least getting like a Chanel tote general because you'd be surprised how often you'd use it um okay let me see the price for this one i have this beautiful caviar double-sided tote for 23.99 23.99 okay i shall keep going next bag i have I have a Fendi Zuka. I'm very excited because this bag is in such good condition too. Um, it's a little Fendi Zuka shoulder bag. Really great size if you think that the baguette is a little too small. Um, this is like the next size up. Not too big, but not too small. Um, it has some compartments as well. She's silver hardware. Um, the material, like it feels so structured still in a way, even though it's a canvas. Um, that's how I can tell it's like in pretty good condition. Um, that's the strap and then let me show you the interior of this guy so interior is nice and clean and then like I said you have like this little compartment in the front so if you want to put your phone so you could just easily grab it you could and then the price for this one um, I have it priced at and he's a good shoulder bag $7.99 and she is in really great condition okay cool 45. Next bag. I have a Chanel um, two-tone little mini bag. I love the size of this one uh, just because it's so mini, but it's not like it's too tiny where you can't put your phone in. And she's really, really versatile. So if you could see, she actually has a silver C and a gold C. So that's why she's called the two-tone. Um, and then she has 24 karat gold hardware, lambskin, beautiful quilting. And um, why is this so cheap? Oh my gosh. I, for some reason, I like get, feel like those compliments or those, uh, what is it? Those comments are compliments. I like love that because I try so hard with my pricing. So I appreciate that comment. Okay, that's what she looks like on as a crossbody. And then this is this, what she looks like as a longer shoulder bag. And then you could play around with her. And then, um, okay, you could do this with a little strap and use her as a shorter shoulder bag. So you got like two bags there. And then I think you can actually do it one more time and do it as a double chain if you wanted to. It would be really, really short, but you could get away with it. So let me just show you. Yeah, like super, like cute for the evening, right? Um, okay, so up close. This one's in beautiful condition, beautiful vintage condition. Obviously these bags are like 20 plus years old. So not like new in any way, but you know, beautiful pre-loved condition. And then let me show you guys the interior of this. By the way, I have this one priced at $38.99. Does that fit a phone? Yes. 
It does fit a phone for sure. And you can put your card holder and your keys in here too. Um, $38.99, show you one more time. Such a cute little size, like minier, obviously minier than the small size, but I like it because it's not like, you know the square um, half flap? It's so cute, but this one's actually like, it literally just looks like the horizontal, not square shaped, um, but just mini. I don't know if I'm making any sense to anyone, but yeah, that's what I'm like describing the shape of this bag. Okay, um, 647, are you kidding me? <sighs> I think I'm just like getting back into <laughs> sharing the bag, so. Um, Sorry guys, <laughs> I like missed our bag drop last week, so I'm still getting used to this. Okay, um, Chanel Timeless, beautiful little flat bag. Um, what makes this bag really rare though is this insane 24 karat gold plating chain. It's supposed to mimic like an ID bracelet. Like, let me show you up close. How cool is that? And it's got the chunkiest curb chain ever and it's still so yellow gold it's insane i am so obsessed with this bag um you could use her like this um uh, i actually think it's really cute i know it's so extra but if you wore her like this it would look like you're wearing an id bracelet and i think it's obviously that's how it's meant to be worn but i think it's so cute um it has like a patent timeless chanel logo and then the rest of the body is lambskin in terms of where she's in good vintage condition, she does have some scratches on the lambskin, but literally just use like any leather conditioner and it buffs it out. This is the back. Um, and then let me show you the interior. Interior is nice and spacious. I would say space wise comparable to a medium size Chanel. Maybe you could probably put a little bit more actually than a medium Chanel. Um, okay. Uh, the pro uh, price for this one is Chanel um, Timeless Curb Chain, $23.99. $23.99 for this guy, are you kidding me? And this chain is insane. That, that rhymed. Okay, um, next bag. Um, okay, so I just, I'm, ah! I'm just gonna grab, okay, I have another Chanel. Just trying to get through like the Chanel's because I know that people are really interested in the flat bags. Um, okay, next is a diagonal stitch Chanel, another 24 karat gold plating. Um, this one's really cool because it has, you can see the diagonal stitching and then a small little Chanel logo. Um, and then I actually adjusted this one. So let me show you what she looks like in her truest length. But that was cute as like a little um, shoulder bag. Okay, this is the true length of the bag. So you can wear her like this. This is Chanel heaven, I can tell. <laughs> we love our Chanel's here. Okay, um, and then this is probably around the same size, maybe, as the two, two. Oh no, actually it's, it's bigger. Okay, so this is like the standard size of a small. Um, this is this side, and then where? Nothing too crazy, just some drying. No rubbing, just some drying. And then um, this is black, by the way. And then let me show you guys the interior. Interior, more red, classic red. And then I have this priced at um, Chanel Diagonal Stitch flat bag. Oh, wow, $28.99. $28.99 for this um, flat. Wow, okay, <laughs> um, cool. Next bag, 61. Next bag I have, okay, this one, I just wanna show this because I feel like this is for someone who like is into that silent luxe. Like obviously it's an if you know you know type of bag as well. So if you know the Fendi By The Way collection, this is the By The Way small bag. Uh, typically retails, I believe for 2000 and I think they're actually still selling it um, on their website, but really versatile bag. So, so versatile, everyday bag. Um, you have this strap where you can wear it like this. Like imagine this with a trench coat and like, I just love the nude color because it's gonna go with any outfit. Uh, silver hardware, you could take the strap off or you can make it longer if you wanted to because it is adjustable. It also has Fendi like on each button, which I think is cute. But you could remove the strap and then use these little handles as a cute little handle bag. 
as well. Um, you have a cute little Fendi clochette right here, and then you have the Fendi stamping. Let me show you up close the Fendi. You can still see the Fendi stamping, but it's starting to get a little bit more subtle than it was um, before, but let me show you up close. And then it has a tiny mark right here on the back handle, right there. And then just some normal like signs of wear for like any corner of a bag. Um, and then let me show you the interior. Uh, price for this guy, by the way, is Fendi, by the way, shoulder bag, $6.99. $6.99, really spacious. That's why I'm saying it's a good everyday bag because you got your three compartments and you can store everything in here, but still looks so chic. Again, I, I emphasize like the silent luxe family that like the group here such a good bag okay um time. oh my gosh it's 6.53 ah okay um next bag i have uh i'm gonna go faster okay chanel satin so freaking rare we love the bijou chain here okay so beautiful you have the little fringe tassel with the chanel logo on it um and then you have uh the chanel timeless logo Beautiful, again, satin material, and then you have the lambskin piping. You can wear her like this as a crossbody bag, um, and then you can wear her like this as a shoulder bag. In terms of wear, she's in beautiful vintage condition. She just has a tiny little a mark on the back, but no one cares about the back anyways. Um, okay, and then the interior is just a vibrant freaking red. Like, it gives Louboutin red. Look at that, and it's lambskin inside. Um, okay, Chanel Mini Satin Bijou Camera Bag. Price is $22.99 for this cutie. She'll go with everything. Um, I feel like I'm in the Hunger Games trying to score a bag right now. Oh my God, I've actually heard that before. Um, okay, what time is it? 6.54, okay, uh, next bag I have. Um, I should have done this one sooner because I've gotten a lot of questions about this one. Um, the Chanel Timeless full flat bag, 24 karat gold hardware again, um, the beautiful timeless logo, lambskin, quilting. Uh, this is that side, this is that side, and then this is the back. It does have a pocket um, back here as well, so you can have like easy access, and it does have, um, this oh, I'm so sorry, I saw the comment. Um, so it's all gonna be available in six minutes on my shop shop um you can go to the website to answer your question on how to purchase so sorry um this is what she looks like on another just staple classic in terms of wear super subtle discoloring on the chain um i really really try to source bags that have more yellow gold Obviously, you can get uh, the yellow gold replated if you wanted to, but I think it's just always easier when I find bags that already still are very much like the yellow. Um, okay, sorry. You could also use her like this. So the two-in-one bags, wear her like this. And then I have her priced at um, Chanel Timeless Quilted Flat Bag, $28.99. $28.99. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm gonna go faster. I see your comment. Okay, um, and then that's the interior. Interior, you put like your whole world and life in here. Not really, just like your phone and card holder and keys. Okay, faster. This one, oh, I wish I talked about this more. Okay, Th this is just self explanatory. Like, how trippy is this bag? It's super rare. Chanel, like, if you look up close, it just looks like waves, but like from afar. Oh my God, it is so stinking cool. Like you will for sure get compliments on this bag. If I see you with this bag, I will stop you and like get so excited because I think this is like probably one of the coolest like vintage Chanel's. Obviously that's not like a classic flap, but I just think it's so like unique. Um, it has the white uh, caviar leather by the way. And then Chanel logos on the buttons. I put this as fair condition because the straps are starting to split. Thankfully, it doesn't affect like the integrity of the bag, but I do want to note that and then feel free to look at pictures um, on the website since we're kind of rushing. But um, I did price this really well because of that. I have it priced at Chanel. I call it the Chanel Illusion Tote and I have it priced at $7.79. 
literally under a thousand dollars for a Chanel, Chanel bag unheard of okay that's the interior um oh i'm just so excited because it can fit your laptop so it's like a really cute work bag okay um i swear i'm almost done okay i'm gonna go fast um, Louis Vuitton backpack. I always get requests for these Louis Vuitton backpacks. This is the Montserrat MM. Beautiful freaking condition. The Vachetta is still like very light colored. Um, that's what she looks like on, she can't fit a laptop, but this is a good festival Disneyland backpack uh, for traveling. You can see that there are some water spots on the bottom and then Right over here, there is more wear. Um, this just needs leather conditioner on the bottom over here. And then this is the back. But yeah, the Vachetta still looks absolutely incredible. Um, and then I have this one priced at Louis Vuitton monogram backpack, $13.89. Um, I'd open it up, but we don't have time for that. So it, it's clean inside though, okay? Um, okay, final three bags and we'll do a run through. Um, Louis Vuitton mini Papillon, great condition. We love her, 509. A Gucci coated canvas tote, um, really, really good for durability. Um, and then I have this one priced at, oh my gosh, I'm starting to stress now. Um, I know it was like 429 or something. So that one, and then a Dior um, black trotter pochette. And then I have this one priced at 649. She does have some wear on the bottom corners that I wanna note. Um, obviously, when you're looking at these bags, please look at all the pictures and um, review everything like before you hit check out. I know it is like the Hunger Games, but um, just please be like 100% sure the bag you're like adding to cart is the actual bag that you want and you're not accidentally buying something. Um, okay, run through. Oh my gosh, okay. Shopfashionico.com. Just go to my website actually because then you can keep watching me and then all the bags are going to pop up in a minute anyways. Um, okay, Dior Trotter Pochette 6 um 49 uh i already did these you guys i literally just said it okay um the fendi 690 oh my gosh okay focus 699 um louis vuitton monogram backpack 1389 i have the saint laurent um tiny lou for 1499 i have the um little Chanel diagonal stitch flat bag for $28.99 and then I have the Chanel timeless quilted flat bag for also $28.99 um, I have the super rare Chanel timeless curb chain flat bag for $23.99 um, the Chanel little not Chanel little but you know toured with me the double-sided turn lock um, tote bag and I have this for $20 oh come on where is it $23.99 okay I have this Chanel for $7.79 so good um the Louis Vuitton briefcase for $6.99 I have the super rare um Chanel satin bijou chain bag for $22.99 I have the Chanel medium turn lock flat bag for um where is it $36.99. I'm not gonna look at the clock because I'm getting nervous that it's seven. But okay. Oh my gosh, this one, the Fendi uh, crystal baguette with like the lizard trim, $12.99. Really, really good price for that one. Um, I have the Prada Saffiano beautiful orange for $8.49, I believe. Um, next, I have the Louis Vuitton chain pochette for. 619 the um little shoulder bag for 809 the gucci shoulder bag for um six something i know it's six something 639 i have the chanel caviar timeless pochette for 22.99 i have the celine the little celine triumph um tote i'm starting to freak out i think it's seven Celine Triumph for Are You, $5.49 is the price of that. Um, the Chanel Quilted uh, Turn Lock Half Flap for $44.99, I believe. $44.99 or $42.99, I think, maybe. Um, Bottega Veneta Little Shoulder Bag for $4.49. I have the Mini Chanel Pochette for uh, $13.99, I think. I think. 
I'm just gonna guess. Um, it's really close to there, I think. Chanel uh, Timeless. No, this one's not Timeless. This one's the Patent. So where's the Chanel Patent? Patent Turnlock Belt Bag for $12.99. Um, I have the Dior Barrel Bag for uh, $7.99. And then the Chanel Caviar Wallet on Chain for $4.59. And then last but not least, oh, no, two more. Okay, two more. I have the Fendi Zuka Shoulder Bag for uh, $7.99. And then I have the Chanel Two-Tone um, Mini Flat Bag for $38.99. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, you know what? I should have looked at the time, but... I'm still getting used to this because we haven't done this in like nine days, 10, okay, I don't really know how long it's been, but it's been like a while, so I apologize. Um, but I'm gonna go check to make sure that uh, everything is up. Oh wait, did I do this one? The Louis Vuitton Wallet on Chain, um, 489. Okay. So it's seven. Um, Okay, let me see if you guys, oh, thank you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna like freak out. Hold on, let me see where my laptop is to make sure that, I think I have like 31 bags in total today. So let me just confirm. Um, oh my gosh, oh, wait, okay, hold on, I'm gonna, saw a comment I just want to see um okay one second two two okay we're good um wait I like saw my friend I think she got a bag Vanessa did you get a bag I, I, I saw a comment that you said so excited so I'm guessing maybe thank you for your support um okay hold on let me See really quick um, how many bags we have. Oh, it looks a little bit different today because of the, um, yeah, you can see it. I have like my live on here. Uh, okay, let me see. We have one, two, oh my gosh. Oh my God, <laughs> that's crazy. Um, okay, so we have three bags left. Um, three Chanel's. Um, we have the... Chanel Caviar um, pink little pochette. Um, and then that one is $22.99. We have this beautiful Chanel classic flap. Um, this one, I have it for, um, let me see, $44.99. Um, and then I think we have the this one. This Beautiful little mini Chanel with the gorgeous neon pops of color for um, $13.99. So those are the three bags we have left. Um, oh wait, okay, just kidding, no. Something just sold, two bags, okay, we have two bags left. Um, wow, this is so, it's so fast, it's crazy. Okay, um, let me see. Does the green stitch one fit an iPhone? I would say no, um, I, I wish I could, uh, I don't have my measuring tape, but I would, oh wait, actually, <laughs> I feel like it does. Um, yeah, it does fit your iPhone. I have an iPhone 14 Pro and it for sure can fit in here. <laughs> um, so yes, it does fit a phone. Um, okay, cool, let me see. Kept refreshing and getting the YouTube video. Oh no! I should mention that next time. I'm still new to like the having YouTube on our shop, but I'll, I'll mention that next time. Okay, um, I wanted the Papillon. Who got it? Oh no! Okay, I'm gonna shout out um, people. So thank you for your support. Um, okay, orders. I love to know what was like the first bag to sell. Um, so let me just check. Oh my gosh, Anna, you, she's definitely purchased for me like quite often. Um, thank you so much for your support again. She got the Chanel caviar wallet on chain.
plastic one. Um, I need to for sure start sourcing more of those because those were really popular, but um, it was, I don't know. It's just been so long since I've had those in. Um, okay, next bag, Zhang Wan. Zhang Wan, that is a cool name, Zhang Wan. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. And they got the, oh, <laughs> they got the Fendi, the wool one with like the crystal. I knew that one was gonna go. Um, I must have been really tired because I don't think I priced that one like, um, you know, it's okay. No worries though, like such a good price. I'm like so excited for you. Um, okay, Brianna got the, oh, is that for you or is it for um, like a significant other? But congratulations, Brianna. She got the Louis Vuitton Damier Even um, briefcase, that like huge one that's like perfect for like a laptop. Um, I know you will get compliments. I actually have a briefcase as well. And I feel like you don't really see, I guess like women wearing it too often. So I actually get compliments on my briefcase. So I hope you use it for yourself too, if it's not for you. Um, okay. Uh, Carla got the uh, Dior Trotter pochette, um, the beautiful black one, good everyday bag. Elizabeth, hi Elizabeth. Um, oh, Elizabeth was the one who got, I think I saw a comment, like who got the Prada. She got the beautiful orange Prada. Um, that's a rare bag, so I'm not sure if I'm going to find more of that, but I'll obviously keep looking. Um, okay, Caroline got the... She got the Bottega Veneta shoulder bag. I got a lot of people asking about that bag. Um, such a good price point, right? Because we know that Bottega typically sells like in the thousands for like that Napa leather. Uh, super good quality leather, by the way. Uh, Francis got the toy Saint Laurent Lulu. I knew that one was gonna sell. Please use the chains. If you like buy chains with it, it would be so cute. ER, okay, I know this name. Um, I'm trying to remember like, there, oh, is it, uh, oh my gosh, Isla? I think it's Isla. I wanna, I'm just gonna guess, but I'm guessing it's, I well, hold on, actually, no. Let me just confirm. Okay, yes, I swear, it is Isla. Hi, Isla, um, nice to see you. Uh, you got the Dior Monogram Barrel Bag, congratulations. Um, Jacqueline got the, she got my bag. She got the Turnlock little Chanel patent belt bag. Oh, I love that one. You're gonna use it so often. Um, okay, Christian got the Louis Vuitton shoulder bag. Another one that was like one of my very first bags. Rachel, hi! Oh my gosh, thanks for watching. Um, she is another longtime follower. Um, she got the Chanel Illusion tote, the trippiest like wavy tote bag. So freaking cool. Um, okay, Ingrid got the, she's gonna twin with me, she got the caviar double-sided tote bag. Um, Jennifer, hi Jennifer, nice to see you again. Um, oh my gosh, Jennifer got two bags! She got, it's gonna be Christmas for her, you guys. She got the um, Chanel satin, the beautiful bijou mini bag. You know which one I'm talking about with that gorgeous bijou chain with the, like the fringe. Oh my god. And then, like that's not all. She got the Chanel freaking Timeless, the curb chain one that has like the cool like logo ID bracelet vibe where you can like carry it and it looks like you're wearing a cool Chanel bracelet. Wow. Okay, congratulations. Happy Christmas. It's like early Christmas for you. Um, okay, Rachel got the, the two-tone Chanel, the cute little mini flat bag. Um, Vanessa, hi girl, thank you for supporting. Oh my God, I really appreciate it. Um, it's so nice to see you here. Hi Eric, if you're watching, that's his, um, that's her, uh, oh, I was gonna say fiance, but her hubby. Um, she got the Gucci monogram coated canvas tote. You're gonna use that so often, girl. I don't know if you go to like work in like the, obviously if you're working remote or if you're working like somewhere else, but if you like throw in your laptop in there, it's a good size. So really good everyday work bag if, if you're gonna use it for that. Um, okay, Francesca got the Celine Triumph tote beautiful cute little navy obviously i am gonna say it again i'm gonna start sourcing more celine um because i'm just crazy over celine right now elizabeth got the fendi zuka shoulder bag such good condition oh my gosh this name akanksha that is 
so, oh my gosh, I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but really cool name. Akanksha got the Chanel Turnlock, the medium full flap classic. You're gonna hand that down. Like just such a staple in anyone's closet. Congratulations. Um, okay, Cynthia got the Louis Vuitton chain pochette, the monogram one. Um, Sabrina, I love how you spell your name. Um, Chanel Timeless Quilted Flat Bag, another classic. Daniela got the Louis Vuitton wallet on chain. I'm realizing now, I like told you the price, but I don't think I ever like got to show it. It was hiding under um, all, of, all of my bubble wrap. So I apologize, but um, we love her. That's like a classic. I try to have that bag pretty often in the shop because it's just like a really good go-to piece. Um, okay, moving on, Samantha got the we have a silent lux queen here. She got the Fendi by the way shoulder bag. Beautiful nude. Another bag you're gonna use forever. Um, okay, Lynn got the Louis Vuitton monogram backpack. So happy because I want to start sourcing more backpacks, obviously because when it's school time, but backpacks are just like a quintessential piece that you need in your closet. When I was traveling, when I went to Hawaii, like I brought my backpack even though I was like swimming every day. Like it's just so handy for traveling. Um, and to, to answer anyone's questions, if you're curious which bag I brought, I brought my um, Louis Vuitton reverse PM backpack. Such a good backpack. Um, okay. Ni got the, your name sounds familiar, so I think you're a long time follower, but uh, thank you for your support. Um, she got the Gucci Jackie flat bag. Amanda got the, um, oh, the Chanel diagonal stitch flat bag, the beautiful diagonal with like 24 karat gold hardware. Um, Alicia got the Louis Vuitton mini pap. We love her, we know her. Um, okay. I think there might be more. Um, let me just refresh though, just in case um, if anyone made any other purchases. Because I don't remember if um, I shouted out the pink caviar. So let me just confirm. Okay, no, I didn't. So shout out to Min. She got the Chanel Caviar Timeless Pochette. Gorgeous freaking pink. I've never sourced that in pink before. Um, I love it. Your collection must be amazing since you're getting like a beautiful pop of color pink. Um, okay, Elba got the, oh, Elba, okay, she got the Chanel lambskin, the quilted half lap, another gorgeous piece that you could use forever, um, and again, the versatility with, like, the double shoulder, but then you can wear it as a long shoulder bag as well. Um, okay, that's everything, I think, so we only have one bag left, um, the beautiful black Chanel mini with the beautiful neon, uh, contrast stitching, and this is what she looks like on. I'm gonna wear it one more time. And I have it priced at um, $13.99, I believe. Yeah, $13.99, excellent condition, silver hardware. Um, okay, cool. So are there any questions? I see that there are people on like the YouTube. So if you did go on YouTube or if you watched me through shopfashionika.com, please like leave me any feedback. Um, feel free to like DM me. I just want to make sure that it's like a good user experience for those who were on the website. And if you actually prefer that over Instagram or TikTok, let me know that as well. Um, okay, cool. Uh, any questions? Uh, let me see. Thanks for tuning in. I seriously missed you guys so freaking much. So I appreciate you watching and hanging out with me. Whoever bought the wallet was the fastest shopper ever. I don't even know what to say. I feel like everyone that like checks out within a minute is just like so freaking fast. I would have like anxiety. Like I feel like my fingers would be shaking like trying to get like, like if I'm like really like, you know, trying to get a bag. I don't know. I feel like I would just be so stressed out. Um, thank you so much, Megan. I appreciate that comment. Um, okay, awesome. Let me see it. LV monogram backpack. Yeah, you're gonna use the heck out of it, Lynn. Okay, cool. So if there's nothing else, um, I will see you guys. Please tune in, like follow me on like Instagram and TikTok and YouTube too, since I'm gonna be more active on there because 
very exciting unboxings so soon you guys i want to tell you but i also really want to make the content but oh my god i'm so excited um that's all i could give you for now but okay i will see you guys later see you next wednesday every wednesday we drop at 7 p.m pacific time have a good wednesday and thanks for hanging out with me bye guys um sammy sorry i just saw that question you know i will girl black friday of course um okay i'll see you guys later bye See you later, TikTok. Thanks again for hanging out. Okay, and thank you, uh, YouTube, for hanging out with me. I'll continue to go on YouTube as well. Bye, guys.